everyone welcome back my name is Sevin we are going to do another lab practice today and it involves a batch so we are going to get a batch after finishing this lab practice if you want to have that structured study guide don't know where to start or what to study I have all these prepared for you I called it six weeks learning plan but it can take longer, it can take less, depends on the people's free time. We'll leave the link in the description so you can just go and get your uh, study guide. And also you can follow up all the practices, everything that I'm doing, you can follow up in here as well. You can go to Cloudcast and uh, Solutions Architect, getting started with AVS, it's all here. So you can find it in there as well. If you haven't got previous badges, which is storage batch, compute batch, networking batch. We are going to do the databases now, but you haven't got these, you go and practice them as well. And these are the coming soon ones, cloud operations, security, and serverless. So because this is ready now, we are going to practice databases. So let's start. First section was all training. So I have completed the training part. Now I'm going to start the lab. I am familiar with this part. We are just going to start the lab and wait for the lab to start. And we are going to sign into AVS console. Let's start the lab first. So the lab is still uh, now. The lab is now ready. I need to get started before my kids come back. So uh, we are going to create an Amazon RDS database. This is how the architecture will look like. Um, we will have internet gateway. Under the VPC, we will have two subnets, two public subnets, and two private subnets. And RDS will be in the private subnet, and the EC2 instance will be the web server. Open the AWS console. I will take that as usual because I like to move between two pages. So we are going to go to services. On the services, we'll go to RDS. And we are going to click create database. Create database. Uh, choose a database creation method as standard create. We are going to go with standard and will be engine option will be MySQL. Standard MySQL, we are going to use MySQL. Um, once you watch the training, this uh, this is getting much clearer. It's easier to understand what we are doing right now. And template section, we will create dev temps. Dev test, okay, development and test environment. Availability and durability section will be single database instance. Single database instance. Inventory DB database instance identifier. Master name will be admin, lab password. Okay, and under instance configuration, it's going to be burstable place, uh, classes. Burstable classes. Okay, choose database T3. Okay, micro database, micro, and storage will be general pur purpose SSD. Storage, general purpose SHD GP2, allocated storage, keep 20, 20 gigabytes. Okay, uh, enable storage auto scaling, uh, clear or deselect. So don't allow. In the connectivity section, uh, configure the following options. Compute resources, do not connect to EC2. Compute resources, do not connect. Okay, and virtual private cloud will be lab, lab VPC. Database, uh, database subnet group 
RDS lab, RDS lab, DB subnet group, okay. Public access keep default, no? Public access, no, and VPC security firewall, choose um, VPC security firewall. Choose, uh, choose the X on default to remove the security group. We are going to remove this one, this one and choose this one. Okay. No, didn't work. Did I click too much? Okay. Um, availability zone, no preference. Database authentication. It's here. Uh, password, yes, monitoring, enable enhancement, this is monitoring, and deselect, this one, uh, additional configuration, select section by choosing database options inventory, database name, inventory and after this one initial database okay enabled enhanced monitoring additional configuration enter inventory create database now we are going to leave this one I guess normally this database would uh, cost us $14.71 but because it's a lab session uh, we are not, not going to pay for this. Create database. Now the second task is configuring web application communication with the database instance. So this will be the architecture area secrets manager for further use. User HTTP traffic port, web application security group, database security group, MySQL RDS instance. So we are going to go to EC2, EC2 instances, and choose instances should be running that snake app server so they already have their instance prepared uh, select the checkbox here and the details tab details tab there will be public ip address this is the public ip4 address you can and once you copy that choose settings where is the settings? Here. Um, and then settings. You now configure the application to use the Amazon RDS database. Details pane. Um, two settings. Okay, once we copy that, we are going to add that to another. And here the settings. Sorry, this one. And settings. You can now configure the application to use Amazon RDS database instance that you created. On the services menu, we are going to go back to RDS. And databases. This is the one that we just created. DB identifier. DB identifier. This one. Connect. I'm going to select. I guess connectivity and security section. Copy endpoint. 
um, endpoint is here. Okay. Return to the browser with the top inventory for the endpoint. Past endpoint copied. This is the endpoint. Um, and for the database in space. Okay. Uh, the application will now save the information and uh, AWS Web Manager. Uh, okay, you can use web application plus add inventory, edit and delete inventory. Insert new record into the table. Ensure that the table has five or more inventory records. One, two, three. Now they are three. Okay, go to a list management console services and six secret manager, secret manager. Monitoring the now it's the te uh, third task monitoring the database instance. Uh, we are going to go to RDS. Uh, it asks us to have inventory new records. Ensure that the table has four, five or more inventory records. So we are going to add a couple of records here. Add inventory store. Let's add London, it, item, item RDS, quantity 2, send, add another one, let's say Istanbul this time, Amazon, Amazon, body, let's say, oh, sorry, and quantity 5, let's say 4. And send. So okay, now we have five. We are going to go to RDS. Databases monitoring. Here, this looks like this. Perform various operations on the web application like add, update, remove records from inventory database, and observe the changes in the values. Okay, now let's try that. We can Delete one, this one, and add that. Maybe another Istanbul item, RDS, and eight cent. Let's see what happened now. Refresh that. It looks similar. CPU utilization, free storage space, variable memory. Basta. Monitoring. CloudWatch. And that's all we can see, I guess. Performing operations on database. Now we are going to choose databases, actions, databases here, and actions. 
stop temporary stop temporarily I acknowledge stop temporarily I acknowledge that the game has been play after seven restart after seven days restart okay refresh the browser it's stopping okay that took a while so be patient and let's go back um after the status show status show stopped temporarily not stopped because it's for seven days database automatically restarts after seven days and this is the end of the lab uh, optional you can start the instance reconnect it to the web application and can continue to use this shows optional in this lab you launched mysql rds database instance configured an existing web application to interact with database instance then you perform basic tasks such as querying updating records and monitor the various metrics to gain insight into the health of the database and finally perform basic database administrative operations so i'm going to end the lab now okay i terminated my lab and i'm going to take the final assignment uh, so i can get my badge i will see you in my next video bye